In sports, we're headed to the soccer field. Here's Rob Crone. The JCC men's soccer team opening postseason plays Sunday on the turf at the Coffee Street campus, hosting Tompkins Cortland Community College in quarterfinal action of the Region 3 Division 3 playoffs. The Cannoneers on a roll coming into this game, winners of six straight. Scoreless in the second half when Brody Finney's shot is stopped. Sabala Litsora is there to stick home the loose ball. Cannoneers go on top, 1-0. With two minutes left in the game, Watertown High product Jack Rathbun seals it with this tally. 2-0 JCC. That would be all the scoring as JCC goes on to shut out TC3 2-0 to advance to the Region 3 Division 3 semifinals. The JCC women's basketball team opens their season with a pair of scrimmages this week. Coach Jeff Wiley's team coming off a 24-5 season that saw them go 14-2 in conference play and earn an at-large bid to the NJCAA National Tournament. JCC opens its regular season November 9th against Owens College in the Onondaga Classic, and Wiley says the team has been practicing since the beginning of the school year with the goal of returning to Nationals front and center, preparing themselves for mid-state conference play with a tough schedule on the horizon. We open up with a scrimmage at St. Lawrence on October 23rd, so we'll see what happens then. then we play Potsdam here on the, on the 25th, so we have some really good scrimmages lined up. It's, uh, it's going to be a tough schedule, and uh, we've been working really hard, motivated, so we're, you know, I know it's you know, coming off a, a season like we had and beating some teams, we're going to have like a bullseye on our back. Cause, you know, we went to Nationals, and I think people want to get to the pro, the, where we were, the level that we were. The Team 24 Cascanet Ford Carthage Lacrosse Hall of Fame banquet was held Saturday night at the Carthage Elks Club with 30 men and women that were All-Americans in either high school or college being enshrined. Names like Casey, Ryan and Mike Powell, Josh and Jason Kaufman, Kayla Kempney, Katie Ferris and Aaron Gallagher among those being enshrined. The man that spearheaded the event, legendary former Carthage boys lacrosse coach Kirk Venequatro, says having something like this is important to reflect and preserve the history of Carthage lacrosse. Uh, it's really important for me, but it's important for this community to make sure that we hang on to our great lacrosse history. Uh, we got a couple of uh, people doing a great job coaching right now, and uh, hopefully this this uh, rattles the community again to, to, uh, to, to get more and more kids involved in this great game of, of lacrosse that, uh, to be quite honest, changed my life. And that's a check on sports this Monday. I'm Rob Crone. Mel's in tonight at 6 o'clock, and he'll have another edition of Bustler's Beauties.